Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, more, no matter where you are, your boy JJ right here once again on JJ's PC Build. Stick around. We got some hot news for you. Not hot news, some hot testing for you. It seems like, well, what has happened was that I tried to, uh, I didn't even, I just walked upon it. I never thought that I could get uh, AMD Crossfire on an uh, integrated graphics on an iGPU. But stick around. Let's get through the B-roll and do enjoy yourself right here on JJ's PC Builds. <laughs> After trials and tribulations and me trying to figure out why I got 8 gigabytes of VRAM on my iGPU, which only is supposed to support 2 gigabytes, y'all ain't gonna believe this. this. is a good one. After doing a little bit of investigation, it looks like I got AMD Crossfire. I got, <laughs> this is just too much. So, it looks like I got AMD Crossfire on my iGPU and the new GPU I got, the 6500 XT. Which is giving me a total of 8 gigabytes of VRAM. Oh, man. And I was sitting there wondering the whole time what was going on. You know, on a B450 motherboard, on top of this, you know, and me messing around enough with it and seeing what I can do, I was actually able to turn out AMD Crossfire on an iGPU. You think it's impossible. Look right here. It's not impossible. It is not impossible. AMD Crossfire enabled two GPUs detected. Now, I'm going to have to investigate this a little bit more because I have never done this in the most longest time. I've always ran things singly, but to find out that everybody was telling me that... Um, that um, and I was doing a lot of, I was looking at a lot of reviews on this and they said well the RX 6500 XT is not worth the silicon it's supposed to be on well I hate to tell you the silicon that it's supposed to be on just got improved and the proof's in the pudding you can see it right there says I have AMD Crossfire enabled. How I did that, I have no idea. But you know what? This this is a new adventure for this B450 motherboard and this is a whole new deal. So now I got AMD Crossfire. Interesting enough, I can't believe it can be done. So, I'm going to do more testing on it to see how it works. Just to, be, just to be sure it's worth every bit that it says it's supposed to be. So, I'm running a Fermark benchmark. And we're going to see what we see. We are going to see what we see. And oh, uh, we're gonna we're gonna bring this right to here. There we go. 
that looks like both it looks like both GPUs are there and it says crossfire enabled two GPUs open GL rendering um, yeah it's got GPU 1 and GPU 2 and I'm gonna do one better I'm gonna change the driver software next and then I'm gonna run this test again so stick with me and we're gonna get out of this right here and we're gonna take and upgrade the driver software so do stick around we got more for you alrighty after I tried to update the drivers it was a bust I tried to go all the way up to the 22.12.2 and it seems it didn't recognize the RX 6500 XT it did it did uh, recognize um, the IGPU but it did not recognize the 6500 XT so I went back and I reinstalled the 22.11.2 and it all came back to normal so from what I'm what I'm seeing is is that the compatibility chart it seems that the this is the only uh, seems like this is the only one that's rocking right now with compatibility on um, the drivers between the the two uh, graphics cards the IGPU and the discrete graphics card seems this is the only one that's like a balance in between the two to make them work in a, in a crossfire fashion I am gonna try to play Dota 2 um, right now I'm downloading Dota 2 to test it out and I can take y'all along with me and so y'all can see I I'm just I'm just running it real quick I'm not gonna play you know play it like all the way through because I know nothing about it we will work on you know doing some sessions on some Dota 2 you know and some uh, Eve you know steam eve and stuff like that so be patient with me i am still working on trying to make my cheapest <laughs> my cheapest utmost computer you know i'm trying to reconfigure and rework everything to make it work like it's a dream okay i'm sure you know there's I know the little guy out there just, you know, scratching the surface like me. We're, you know, we're going to scratch it together. We're going to scratch that surface together. So what I'm doing is I'm doing it slowly. So this way, you know, y'all can understand what I'm doing. And far as getting Crossfire to work on an iGPU, that's a new one to me. I didn't think it could be done, but obviously there's... A, I guess it can be done on the setup that I have. You can try it yourself if you want to build yourself a system like I got. You know, it's mine's pretty basic and simple. You can try it, see if it works for you. And if it does work for you, then guess what? You get it too. So let's go ahead and uh, switch over to Dodo 2. I said Dodo. <laughs> <laughs> to me, it's like a dodo, but a dota too. So, and here we go. Well, since I don't know how to play dota too, I'll probably get roasted for this. But we're going to try to learn how it works. So let's go ahead and see what happens. Oh, 
Oh my goodness. So, I'm just doing the two minute video here so you can all can see that it's operating pretty well. Now, they said this is supposed to be a crossfire, AMD crossfire game. So, we'll see how that works. But, so far, so good. You know. Just so you all know that I'm just testing it out. I'm, I don't even know how to play Dota, but I will learn. I will learn. So, just to give you an idea of <clears throat> what I'm seeing, you all are seeing. I think it looks pretty good to me. I think it looks really good. Let's see. We got 120 FPS. I forgot to do that in the beginning before it started. So, looks like it said it's max 120 FPS. Um, GPU 1's at 58%, GPU 2's at 37%. CPU's at 140, 17%. So, it's looking real good to me I, I'm starting to think that it's looking real good you know <clears throat> so y'all make sure you leave a comment below and let me know what you think th this is all about so you know just let me know if y'all like it or not or you know, but looks like, you know, I don't know how to get around teleporting or play a new game. Um, like I said, y'all can tell me, you know, leave me comments below on how to play this game. I just wanted to get a good feel of it, so... You know, don't get me wrong, I'm still, I'm like, you know, 50 plus years old, and I'm still learning how the games work, so let's, um, demo a hero, try any hero, find favorites, politely ignore your least favorites okay so huh I am looking I am looking trying to figure out what I want I don't know. I'm just looking, y'all. And I don't know nothing about finding a match or anything else. So, no idea how that works. Don't want to go there. So, yes, I'm going to quit it.
<laughs> and I'm going to have to figure that out. But as you all can see, I played Dota 2 with no problem at 120 FPS. I guess that's the max. Got my drink on. But I'm still in the investigating <clears throat> how I got AMD Crossfire on this. It's still a mat, you know, it's still got me puzzled, but it seems to be working. I don't seem to be having any issues whatsoever. So, you know, it seems to be working really well, but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get out of here so like and subscribe and if you like the video make sure you subscribe watch the videos from the beginning to the end we're trying to get up to four thousand hours on the watch time and one thousand subscribers and i want to thank all the new subscribers welcome to the jjpc builds family i had <clears throat> today i had an epiphany i had to <laughs> I wanted to check something out and my I was correct as, as I was testing all this out but anyway we're gonna get out of here but until the next video and the next next time I talk to y'all we will see you then so have a great evening and enjoy your holidays <laughs>